All right, folks, thank you for checking out this tutorial. This is actually an excerpt from our class in Affinity Photo, which teaches you how to do mockups. So if you like this lesson and you want to learn more about mockups, go ahead and check out the link below for a special discount for being a YouTube viewer. All right, let's go ahead and get with the learning. All right, gang, welcome back to mockups at Affinity Photo. So we're going to take everything you learned about embedded documents in the last lesson, and we're going to apply it now. And this mockup is in different stages of doneness. I've done the hard work for the lower box face, and I've also done the curve work there. And so we've got the right box top face. Now notice these are grouped. Remember what I said about the layering structure for embedded documents? Take a look at this. The lower box face is composed of the curve. And within the curve is the embedded layer. And here are the adjustments for the embedded layer. Same thing here. Notice this is a group. It's composed of a curve. And then you have the embedded layer and the HSL adjustment and perspective. Now, notice there's a mask on the HSL adjustment because I wanted it to be darker in a certain area and lighter as it got toward the light. So this is all about structure. This is the structure that I stressed in the last embedded lesson. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the importation of an image onto these boxes. So to do that, and I'm working professional mockups now, we go to the embedded layer. We click on it, and in your downloads for this lesson, I've already included this image of this skull. Now, if we're following along at home, and I've removed the rectangle, when I click back to the shirt box mockup here, what should be there? Boom, just like that. And you'll see that I can now adjust the HSL or the perspective. Again, this is about the structure. HSL and perspective are attached to the embedded layer, not the curve. That will never work for you. Now, let's do the same thing. Embedded layer here. This is for this top. Let's double click. And for this lesson, I again included the PNG for the same image. Now, notice if I do that, what should happen in the shirt box mockup? Boom. There you go. Very, very simple, but this structure is not. Remember, the embedded layer is where you put your perspective adjustment and any of your HSL adjustments, not on the curve, right? And then you group them all together. The reason I wanted to include this mockup at this stage is because I want you to have something you can come back to that works. This is your touchstone. Now, the piece that I did not include, okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and create a shadow layer. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Now, where this box overshadows this box, notice that's on that curve and it's part of the lower box face. I want another curve. And the reason I chose boxes is because they're very straight. So you don't have to work terribly hard to put a curve around them. Okay, now, here's what I'm going to do. And this seems ridiculous, but it works. One, two, three, four. Okay, now why did I put a curve out here in space? If you start messing with your pen tool over by this curve, Affinity Photo goes crazy. So I always draw my curve outside the box, and then I drag it inside. So there's my one point. I really only need three points, I think. Here's my second point, and here's my third point. Okay, that looks pretty darn good right about there. All right, so I've got this curve. We're going to call this shadow. And now we want to put a fill to this. So we're going to go ahead and grab our gradient tool. We're going to come down to this side and we're going to pop a fill right about here. Looks pretty good. And 
because we want to switch it up a little bit, let's reverse the curve, put the gray down here, and I want this thing to be almost black. All right, boom, just like that. All right, that looks pretty darn good. Now, if you wanted to adjust it a little bit, you could. I'll probably move that over just a little. You don't want to interfere with that other box. And now you're saying, well, Jeremy, what are you doing with that? Watch this. Multiply. And now as we get to the end, let's do this. I'm going to come back to my tool. I'm going to come back to here. And where it goes to white, I'm going to start dropping the opacity down. Okay. That looks pretty darn good. All right. Let's see what's up. That will work. Now, if you don't like that and you want to mask it just slightly, throw a mask layer on it. Come up with your soft brush. And you see how we're using all the tools. This is why I wanted you to have an underlying background in Affinity before we got into the mock-up course because we're going to be using all the tools. Okay. That looks pretty darn good. Okay, let's go ahead and check it. Off, on, off, on. I like it. All right, so let's go ahead and call this one here. You put in the shadow layer above that curve and you have a touchstone where the curve is part of an embedded layer with the adjustments in the layer. I know I've said it 101 times, you need to understand it because it is the basics of every mock-up that we're going to do once we hit the big time. All right, let's go ahead and call this one at this stage of doneness. And in the next one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to have you put in your own embedded layers. All right, we'll see you in the next one.